say encore or encore? I'm not <laughs> having a big crowd here tonight, but uh, you know, he's really good. Yes. <laughs> Andy, let you play with him. Can I ask if anybody's allergic to a dog? Kind of. Kind of? Well, a lot of dogs, I am. Gash home? Probably not. All right. As long as it doesn't bite. No. He's a therapy dog. Well, well Paul said I had things here about a year ago. We should maybe get him a tub of cheap dip. <laughs> that was right, <laughs> at, right after the spring warming. Well, yeah. Okay, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, Lord, <Andy. laughs> It must be the black hat. Well, I appreciate you too, brother. Well, I appreciate everyone being here today. You know, you could have been anywhere else, but you know, you know what? God brought you here. God brought you here. Yeah. You know, if, if sometimes it does, you know you don't go to work thinking, well, I'm going to do the best job every day of your life. Some days you have better days than others. Okay. Good. Sometimes you, you get the job done. You're there to get the job done. And sometimes you you go places where you think, well, I've got a testimony I want to share with folks and I want to lift each other up. Uh, but not everyone does. Sometimes you just go to church just to receive. Sometimes you just fellowship just to receive. Sometimes you do the job just to go through the motions and maintain things. Even in your household, you go through to maintain things. But on those certain <coughs> days when you know you've really felt the power of God in your life and you really see the blessings for what they are, you have to give a little more. You've got to, you've got to, we're here to encourage each other. The Bible tells us to lift one another up. Lift one another up. Pray for those that persecute you. Pray, pray for those that persecute you. I'm not saying anyone's persecuting here, but we've got enemies outside of these walls, folks. The Church of God has got enemies outside of these walls. The Bible-believing Christians got enemies outside of these walls. And uh, I'm here to tell you that God is as faithful today as He ever has been in our lives. You know, but uh, try to be encouraging to someone. So I want to leave you with that. Um, be the light in that, that darkened world. You know, even if you feel that your light is dim. You never know how dark someone else's life is. And even the dimmest light in the darkened world shines like the sun. That's right. That's right. So if you're not here and you don't feel uplifted, maybe we need to come together. That's what fellowship is all for. Right? All right. Let's, let's do this one. Everybody knows this one. All right. You want to cut into it a little bit if you want to. You let loose, man. Okay. <laughs> 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 So English life you would spend